Prince Harry, 37, lost his honorary military titles after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back from royal family life in March 2020. The Duke has not donned a military uniform to engagements since his titles were taken back by the Queen, despite spending a decade in the armed forces. He also completed two tours of Afghanistan. Civil servant George, 29, from Dagenham, told Express. Co.uk that his military affiliations played well with the British public, and was part of how much the prince was liked. George, speaking in Whitechapel, said it looked as if Harry had thrown his life away. He said, he was really liked by people. He had the army stuff, and he was really out there with people. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex biographers have previously claimed that watching Prince Harry be stripped of his military titles was one of the most painful moments for Meghan. The couple, who retained the use of their Sussex title, also lost access to the HRH titles. But losing his military titles was particularly demoralizing for Prince Harry, it has been claimed. Read more, Mike Tyndall branded Prince Harry AB asterisk 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 D at Palace Party, Finding Freedom, authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand described how Harry could still wear a number of medals awarded to him for his active service. Prince Harry left military duty in 2015. They wrote, if his grandmother's validation of his experiences served as encouragement, the most demoralizing aspect of the New Deal was his being stripped of his honorary military appointments that had been awarded to him as a senior royal. As a retired serviceman, Harry would always be able to wear his medals, but no longer could he wear uniform as Captain General of the Royal Marines, Honorary Air Force Commandant of the Royal Air Force Bass Honington, and Honorary Commodore-in-Chief of the Royal Navy's small ships and diving operations. Don't miss, Royal Family Live, Harry Irrelevant. William's Brutal Megsy Verdict, Live. Restoring Prince Andrew's status would make mockery of entire family, reveal. Royal poll, should Meghan and Harry push for reconciliation? Vote. These roles had come to an end. A source then told the biographers that Meghan had found it incredibly difficult to watch Harry lose these all-important military appointments. The source claimed, that's been a tough pill to swallow, and the one that has been most painful to Meghan to witness him go through. It's the one that made Harry emotional. The Duke has maintained some ties with the military, continuing to promote the Invictus Games, which he founded back in 2014. However, he did not dress in military attire during the Trooping the Colour Parade that kicked off celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee earlier this month. He wore a dark suit as he watched the procession from the Major General's office with other senior royals, including the Duchess of Sussex. Britons offered up their feelings on the monarchy in general, with pensioner Tony telling Express. Co.uk that we see the huge West End economy powered by tourism pulled in by the royal family. He added, I'm sure that the fact we've got a monarchy contributes to it. Student Fergus, from just outside London, said he was not a fan of the institution of the monarchy, because he could not support that much inherited wealth, full stop. Whereas 34-year-old Justina told Express.co.uk that she specifically backed the Queen, but could not throw her weight behind the entirety of the monarchy.